Scandival is described as a terrifying monster that has taken on a life of its own by Tom Schwartz. After a dark hole of scandal engulfed his Vanderpump Rules friend group, the Bravo star was pumped to be soaking up wisdom on Fox's stars on Mars. Tom Schwartz was in need of a reset when he arrived on the Red Planet. The Vanderpump Rules star, 40, opened up about the fallout of hashtag Scanduval on Monday's episode of Fox competition series Star on Mars. I came up here to get a fresh mindset because this thing with my friend back home on Earth, it's incredibly messed up, he said referring to his business partner and best friend Tom Sandoval's months-long secret affair with co-star Raquel Levis. The Sandoval stuff, it's a terrifying monster that's taken on a life of its own now, and it's having a negative impact on my focus, on my morale. He asserted, I did not have an affair, I'm not him, and it's just so strange that I've been absolutely mired in this. Despite heading to another planet, the reality star admitted to his fellow competitor Adam Rippon that the scandal was still on his mind. You'll see me staring off into a corner. That means I'm back on Earth, dealing with Earth problems, he explained. I don't want to go back. I feel like I'm rewiring my brain a little bit. No, 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 I'm not ready to go home. But I have moments of weakness. Every morning I wake up here, I'm surrounded by greatness, he added. I'm like a sponge soaking up wisdom. With hashtag Scanduval still playing out back at home, Schwartz was grateful for the new perspective, sharing, no matter how bad you think you have it back on Earth, you're living like a king compared to what life is like here on Mars. Unfortunately, his time on the planet came to an end after competing in this week's challenge in which they were told a hostile life form had invaded their camp on Mars. Two teams traveled through caves to find the mother fungus and exterminate it using a flamethrower. Schwartz, Rippon and Natasha Leggero were under the threat of extraction, Aka, elimination, when they were placed in the bottom three for failing their mission. Schwartz and Leggero were ousted from the competition while Rippon was saved by base commander Ronda Rousey. Following his elimination, Schwartz reflected on his experience, sharing that he felt rejuvenated after his time on the show. I feel a little lighter on my feet now. It really did kind of reset my mind coming up here because it's just been such a dark hole back in La. He shared, all of a sudden, I hear birds chirping up there and the sun's shining. Bring it on, Earth. I'm ready. He added, I feel reinvigorated. I feel like a fuse is lit again. I'm fired up. According to Schwartz, his stay on stars on Mars was transformative. When I came back, I did have this fresh perspective, he explained. I keep mentioning the overview effect, astronauts go up and then look down at Earth, and it gives them a new perspective, almost like spiritual enlightenment. And I believe I have at least a variant of that. I truly did. He recognized, in retrospect, that he had retreated into my own little bubble for the past few years, and just kind of snapped me out of it. It made me appreciate my life in Los Angeles even more. Schwartz recently confessed that he was stepping away from his connection with Sanduval, and denied his role in the affair after his pal's former Ariana Maddox claimed that he actively participated in downfall by concealing the relationship. I didn't cover for him, but I always had his back, he explained. He came to me, confided in me that he was in love with someone else. My friend had an affair that just happened to sweep the nation, and it's incredibly messed up, he continued, but the thing is I've become mired in it. That's been a major source of angst in my life. I've been in a funk for a long time.